How's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is uh, Dave, and Kuya Joey just asked me to come up and share how God has changed my life, how God has worked in my life, um, just real quickly. And, uh, you know, I've given my testimony a couple times before, a number of times, and it's always been straightforward. And I thought tonight, you know, why don't I just take a gamble and, and go the artsy route? And so what I did was I took my testimony, my story of how God has, has changed my life and revolutionized my walk with Him, and I just wrote it in a letter to God. And so I wrote a letter to God um, about a week ago, um, just refining it, really taking time to make sure every word was in place, every word was right, every word was deserving of Him. And um, so I just figured tonight I'd just read it for you guys. And uh, I just hope you guys are blessed by it. Um, this is my letter to God, and uh, it's titled, To the God Who Gave His All for Me. To the God who gave his all for me. You are the one whose love is overwhelming. Your affection for me is infinite. You are the great romance. And every need I have is satisfied in knowing you. When I was lost, you pursued me with so much passion that it was hard to resist. You wore down my walls of stubbornness with your persistence, and you won me over just by being you. I often find it hard to understand why even when I'm unfaithful in my relationship with you, even when I turn my back and chase after other loves constantly, you still chase after me. Through your unconditional love, I've become what you always meant for me to be. It's your love that reaches out to my deepest longings. And you embrace me as I am, not as how others perceive me to be. Through the years, you've taught me that love is more of a verb than a noun. That others are to come before me in my list of priorities. That real success in life lies not in what I can do through my own strength, but what I allow you to do through me. That the things this world despises are valuable in your eyes. You've taught me that my seasons of brokenness are opportunities for life lessons, change in character, spiritual renewal and redemption, that you allow failures in my life to come about with my best intentions in mind, that an ounce of faith and prayer works more wonders than a ton of human effort, that you value my affection more than you value my perfection. You've taught me that life is a gift to be given back to you, the giver, that the way of the Christian is love, that to know you is to know infinite peace, hope, satisfaction and freedom, and that your love, O oh Lord, is better than life itself. Before I met you, I was lost. I'll admit it. Before I met you, I was searching for meaning. Before I met you, all I knew was temporary satisfaction and fleeting happiness. Now knowing you, God, means peace. Now knowing you, God, means purpose. And knowing you means lasting joy. Before I met you, you were like a wave, God, a beautiful wave in the distance, and I was completely captivated by it. And I could do nothing but stand paralyzed before it, staring, admiring its beauty. And when it finally broke and hit the shore, it was so much more powerful than I thought. It overpowered me. It swept me off my feet, washed over me, and consumed me in the current. Now all of a sudden, I'm in over my head, and I'm drowning in the drink. Now that I know you, a day will never go by without me knowing that I am loved. I'm intellectually convinced that you exist, but I'm emotionally won over by the depth of your love and the greatness of your grace. And so, I have to ask, who am I that you would be so absorbed with me? I was spiritually crippled, helpless even, and you saw me in my need, lifted me from the dirt, brushed me off, made me clean again. Imperfections and faults I have many, and you see into the dark and nasty corners of this heart of mine, and yet you love me more than anyone else on this planet. How does that even make sense? You offer me a love relationship with you and the hope of eternal life in heaven, and all I have to offer back is my ugly brokenness and a set of talents, meager at best. But thankfully, and amazingly, that's all you ask for. You are the God of a billion second chances, and that's good for me. 
because I need about that many. One sweet day, soon enough, Jesus, I will run into your arms, and your sweet embrace will shatter all of my insecurities. And the love emanating from you toward me will be stronger than I ever imagined, and to look into your eyes will make me forget every ounce of earthly struggle and wash away the hardship of every trial and trouble I ever went through. You never let me down. You never fail me. You are always loyal, devoted as can be. And your kindness has melted away my heart of stone, torn down my walls of pride, and stripped away my stubbornness, and it's led me to repentance. Now my passion for you is completely trumping my passion for anything else in this world, and I'm sold out for you, Lord. You've enabled me to lose my need to impress everyone and please people, and now I live for you, an audience of one. If you want, call me a fool for you. You know, when I was young, I learned about you in Sunday school, how you helped David take down Goliath, how you helped Noah build an ark, how you preserved Daniel's life in a den of lions. But now, God, I'm personally involved with you. And that has made all the difference in my life. And now, you're helping me write my own story. You've taken a shy, introverted kid and made me your mouthpiece. If I was the passive follower, now you've made me a leader and a shepherd of your flock. You've called me to take steps towards planning a church, to have faith, trust, and obey, and you reassured me that you take care of the rest. In you, God, I'm more than a conqueror. In you, I'm victorious over sin. In you, God, I'm forgiven and free. So thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Beyond what human words can express. To the God who gave his all for me, here's all of me in return. Thank you. Yeah.